So on to combining sets of data. So this one we want to put uh, two or more groups together. So say we've got uh, two sets of data, one's about x and one's about y, then the mean of them combined, if we wanted to put those two groups together, would be to add up all of the x values, add up all the y values together, and then divide through by however many we had in x plus however many we had in y. And the standard deviation would look like this. Again, it's a similar transformation of our standard deviation formula that we've seen before. We're also going to look at adjustments to the data that we've been given and how to cope with that. So here's our first example. Just take a little while to uh, have a read through that. So we're talking about a, a waiter working a weekend. He's calculating the tips that he received um, and X is referring to the tips received on Saturday and Y for the tips from Sunday. He served 20 people on Saturday and 17 on the Sunday and he's got the summary calculations listed there. We want to work out the mean and the standard deviation of the tips that he received over the whole of that weekend. So we need to put those things all together to work out the mean and standard deviation. So looking at the mean, we have this happening. So we're going to add up the total of the tips on Saturday and on Sunday and then divide through by our total number of customers for Saturday and Sunday. And we get that average tip of $16.70 per customer over the whole of the weekend. Now for standard deviation, take our formula, put in the parts that we know about from each of those Saturday and Sunday values, combine them together, use the mean that we just worked out and get the standard deviation of $8.54. Now if we have a look at this next example, sticking with the same theme, after this waiter had finished doing his calculations he had one more customer come in on the Sunday. We then have a new sum for his tips on the Sunday of $357 and we want to calculate how much the last customer tipped and the new mean and standard deviation for his tips on the Sunday. So we have this information from before. When we had 17 customers, the total came to 350. The total of y squared was 7,100. Now when we add in the 18th person, we get the total of 357, which means that the last customer added 7 to the total, so he must have tipped $7. Then we can work out the new mean, 357 divided by 18. Now, if we want to do the sum of y squared, we need to add on that last value squared. So the last person tipped 7, 7 squared is 49, add it on to our previous total of the y squareds and we get 7149. Then we can go through and work out the standard deviation as normal and we get $1.95.